Good morning. My name is Dean Jones. I'm with TransWest Truck Trailer RV in Frederick, Colorado. I'm here to show you this 21 Omni. It's an XG32 Super C. It's a trade-in we just recently got. It's got 7,316 miles on it as it sits. Good morning. Um, very nice, kind of unique motorhome. I thought we'd uh, start right here. Um, stock number is 5U211464 for reference. We'll go over that again. But just to kind of point out, this is a 4x4 Super C. So it does have a, a Power Stroke 6.7 liter power plant with a torque shift 10 speed transmission. It's a really uh, a really powerful little motorhome and it is four wheel drive so it'll get you up in those spots that most motorhomes won't. Um, this power stroke, it's got 330 horsepower. It's got 825 foot pounds of torque. Um, really, really powerful power plant. Aluminum, aluminum body chassis up front. It is the Ford, Ford 550 power plant. It's got a, a 10,000 pound towing hitch on it, so it'll definitely pull stuff, you know, your race car or what have you. It's just built to really get, get out of its own way and pull a lot. That's what the Super C is all about. Um, beautiful coach, full body paint, two slide. The length of this coach is 33 foot, six inches. The width is eight foot, three inches. And the height is 12 foot, five inches, by the way. I'll get a shot of the inside of this guy. It's just a really nice, easy in, easy out, nice Super Duty Ford. It's got all the Ford features, the navigation, the cruise, all that good stuff. Let's have a, you can see up there, it's got a backup map monitor. You see up where the rear view mirror is. So you can always see what's going on back there. Again, 7,300 miles on this coach, barely been used. But we'll take a look on the outside show you some of the storage and features and what have you. Nice full body paint. There's not any graphics on this, so it's not gonna peel. You do have a slide toppers on them. That'll keep the pine cones out of those guys. So when you're gonna pull them in, nothing will get in the way of those things closing tight to the, to the coach. Um, we do have a nice Onan quiet diesel gas generator. That'll power the whole deal. Um, up to the left, you'll see that's where you put your def fluid for the for the chassis. Uh, it also has its own fill, I believe, for that, uh, that 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 generator right there. So you have a diesel fill for that guy, its own little tank. You do have an inline water heater, so that's just kind of on demand, tankless. So it's a forty-two thousand BTU heater, so that'll keep you in plenty of hot water. Then over here we've got. The wet bay, real simple. You've got, you know, your city water fill. You've got a nice little uh, outdoor shower here if you want to wash anything off. You've also got your black tank and your gray tank. Now your black tank's going to hold 40 gallons. Your gray tank's going to hold 47 gallons, and your fresh water is going to be 75 gallons in this bad boy. So, so that's those guys. And then when you want to open these, actually, I did this backwards. There's this little pull handle here. Is how you open them right there. This, this, the inside half. Nice big aluminum 19 and a half inch wheels all the way around this guy. This is a dually. Um, and you have your city water connection right there. I mean, this thing is almost brand new looking, isn't it? So you do have kind of a little bit of passer storage as you see here for the longer items, but you also have a, a drainable kind of plastic side bin right here. Nice slam latches too. I mean, these guys are really, really easy to shut. Here's your uh, coach side diesel inlet. This is your furnace. It's a 30,000 BTU furnace. It's gonna heat the coach inside real nice. You do have a 50 amp outlet. Here's the actual big old cord for that. Cause you do have two ACs on this, this motor home. And this is your inlet for your cable if you're at a campsite. Coming around back here, you'll see it's a full fiberglass rear cap. It's all one piece. You do have nice tinted glass all the way around. Um, this is your 10,000 pound hitch. You got your seven way and a four way if you have a little boat or something. So that's kind of nice that they put both those on there. 
You don't have to worry about adapters or anything like that. You do have a ladder to go up top, up top there. And if you notice, that's the backup camera to the, the monitor we saw where the rear view mirror was earlier. Here's your bedroom slide. We'll show you that in a minute. You do have 16 gallon tank of propane right here. Real easy to get to. It's not buried under the coach. So when you don't go get it filled, it's just you pull in, pop that door, plug in, fill it up and get down the road. And what's nice is you also have a little stub out right here. So this comes off your propane tank. If you have a nice little, you know, um, low, low pressure grill, you can plug right into that. Feed right off your tank. You won't have to carry another bottle of propane for your grill. So that's a nice feature as well. And here's, another, here's the other side of that kind of pass through storage over there. Um, nice bigger bin here. And again, I don't know if you can see that, but there's little drain plugs here. If you ever wanna, you got ice and stuff melting, you can just pop this and it just drains it right out. Again, you got the little pull bar for your inside there. You got, this is a tank. This is where you'd fill up your actual water tank. The other side's the city water connection. And then you also have a GFCI outlet right here. This one's equipped with a nice TV and sound bar. And if you look up, this is a 14 foot wind sensing awning with the lights and the actual bars. I think that's really nice. Kind of keeps light all the way out and down. And this is just your, your access to your uh, the hydraulic pump. And what that does is that brings the, the jacks down when you want to stabilize it. And I'll show you where that is operated inside. You do have another uh, really nice lit It's not on but you have a nice little light here nice storage right here right on the campsite so you can put your lawn chairs that kind of thing in here um, really easy access to get your your campsite set up you do have a nice little grab handle here again tinted glass all the way around that's going to keep it nice and you know cool in the summer and warm in the in the winter those those are nice windows we're gonna go inside and check it out We'll start back in the back bedroom. It's a really nice, sizable, I mean, it, we're, it's kind of a smaller coach, but it is four wheel drive, like I said, so, um, but it will sleep eight. So it's got plenty of sleeping, but it's a nice kind of a compact deal. It gets you into the national parks, back in the, you know, off the grid kind of camping. You do have a nice queen bed right here. Um, you can, you notice you can get around it and make it all three sides. You do have, this is your slide bedroom, so it kind of, opens up and gives us a nice bedroom feel but you do have storage up here with the, the shocks to keep those up while you're getting stuff in and out nice little valances you do also have i don't know if you see this but on both sides you have usb ports that's good to you know charge your phone put your phone up here that kind of that kind of deal So you do have, I thought so, you do have some systems back there. This is, this is your tank. That'll keep your water nice and warm inside. Um, and you have some systems in here. So it's not really made for storage, but it's a good access and it's on shock. So if you ever need to do any maintenance under there, it's nice and, nice and handy there. This is your actual breaker panel. So I'll show you this. These are your 110, so you have two different electrical systems. You have a 12 volt, which is running off the kind of vehicle side, and then you have the 110 when, when you're plugged in, that kind of works. Um, what's nice about these little, these particular type of boxes is when these, these fuses blow, and they blow from time to time, there's a little red warning light on this guy, kind of show you which one you need to replace so you're not hunting for a, the blown fuse. That's a nice little feature there. We do have a nice red warning light on this cabinet guy here. Can I show you? See, a lot of nice hanging space there, and it's deep enough where you can put hangers in there. It also has your nice ball bearing slide drawers. Four big ones there, and six little guys over here. 
So it's a nice dresser. And this is where your furnace is back here. So that's your cold air return. And if you notice, there's the little heat ducts here on the floor all the way out through the coach. What's really neat about these guys too is you can pop these off. If you notice, these little arrows here, you can dim the lights with these guys. It's kind of nice. These just pop right back on. And we also have a, we have more USB ports here. We have a nice little stereo um, control panel back here and up front. So you can power the stereo either way. Um, and you've got the TV right here. And I think this one is hard mounted. There's not a, a way to articulate that. That's just the way it is. So coming out here, you do have a nice little slider door if you want privacy. Keep that shut and clicked when you're traveling so it doesn't come off track. That's something that could happen. And you got this nice pantry here for the kitchen, which we all know we could use more of when we have motorhomes. Heater on the floor. We're going to show you this nice little bathroom here. It's got a nice little Neo Angle shower, one of my favorite kinds. Talk about this a lot. It's got the the door that doesn't swing. They're kind of barn doors that kind of go inside themselves. I'm six one. I've got this nice skylight here. Offer a lot of light, a lot of headroom. And you have a nice little stainless steel faucet. We've got a medicine cabinet here. A little bit more storage here. You got water heater controls right here for that inline water heater. And I believe there's a pump feature on that guy. It'll actually tell you what your temperature is. It's still plastic on it. This thing is basically a brand new looking coach. You do have heat on the floor. More storage up here, a couple towel bars. And if you notice, you've got a nice little power vent fan there to get the steam out when you're taking a shower. It's a nice little simple bath. Foot flush to medic toilet. That's a good brand. Shouldn't have any problems with that. Nice vinyl floor, really easy to keep clean. Um, also kind of light, so it doesn't have ceramic or anything like that. So this, like I said, this has got a heck of a power plant. It's uh, a real light, little compact coach. Just built to go off grid and really have some fun in. Um, we do have another light panel here. And again, you can dim those lights if you want. And you got a residential GE fridge in this guy with an ice maker. So nice little lock there so nothing falls out when you're driving. But a nice big, you know, residential fridge in this guy. And this one's equipped with a propane two burner and an induction stove, whichever you like to use. And we have a convection microwave up here. So the old ones used to have like the, the ovens, but now everyone's going to convection. This is a nice big convection oven. You just pop this out. You can actually make a casserole on this guy if you'd like. Solid surface countertops. This nice little drawer, pot and pan drawer here. And we've got a nice deep two double undermounted stainless steel sink with your countertop extenders right here. We also have a nice little power port here. So they used to put them up in here, um, and there is one right here. But sometimes the coffee makers and stuff don't really want to reach. So they put a nice little three outlet thing right there for you. You do have under cabinet lighting, as you can see, and a nice little sprayer faucet. As we come over here, we got deep, more two on those ball bearing glides. I believe this right here is where you tether a car seat. You do have seat belts under here. This does make a bed. Well, this isn't gonna sleep, baby. This is gonna sleep six. It has the theater seating. I apologize, I correct myself. So this is gonna be a six sleeper. Two here, two here, and two back there. You do have a nice big screen right here, and I don't think that articulates either. Yeah, that's a hard mount, so it's gonna stay the way it is. Um, Real nice, this is actually an automotive piece of glass up there. Um, this comes up, tracks up, I don't know where the button is. But anyways, 
Um, this makes a bed. This just flips over. Got a nice little ladder to get up and down there. And as you see down here, it's just a real easy coach to get in and out of. So with that little cutout, you can just jump in, jump out real nice and easy. You've got your cup holders. And you've also got, here I'll show you. I'm gonna come out, back out. Got these nice little theater seats. Speakers underneath here. And all this storage right here. And this guy, more action tape. This is a wireless HD video transmitter. So there's a there's a action tech system installed in this guy. More storage. Got some overhead here and this nice little coat closet here as you come in and come out. A little bit more storage up here. You notice you do have on the ceiling, you do have vented, it's ducted to the soft ceiling. It makes it a lot quieter. Um, you do have a fantastic fan above your stove so you can get air out there. Um, and we'll come over here and I'll just show you a couple more things in the entry here. So you have, this is how you would do your uh, hydraulic lift on there. So once you get to the campsite, you get to as level as you can get, you push, um, Turn this on and hit auto and it'll automatically level this guy so you hit that get that leveling out and then you come over here and if you notice you've got awning lights you can actually turn on this the ceiling lights right here um, you get cargo lights awning light you can extend or retract your awning here and then you can also light master on light master off so you can just light the whole coach up at once you do have your step on and off this is your main power, so this is another way to just absolutely shut all the power off. Then you have a solar charger up here. So I'm imagining, I, I haven't checked, but I think there's probably a panel or two up there, but that's the charger. So, and under here, you do have your, your batteries, your coach batteries. I don't know if you can see those down there. That's how, you, that's what powers all this stuff. And looks like they're two six volts. And we'll go over the stats one more time if I can find my. So this is again, this is stock number 5U211464. Um, it's a 2021XG32 Omni by Thor. It's on the 554 chassis, 330 horsepower, 825 foot pounds of torque. It is a 6 7 liter power stroke with a torque shift 10 speed transmission. Um, that's really going to help you as you're going over the passes. That transmission is just incredible. Um, length of 33.6 or 33 foot 6 inches, um, 8 foot wide, 3 inches. Um, and the height is just under 12 and a half feet. We do have a 10,000 pound tow rating, 28 gallon fuel tank for the for the rig, um, 75 fresh water, 40 black water, and 47 gray water. 16 gallons of propane, it sleeps six, has a 14 foot awning, it's got 27, oh, it's got two, two ACs, total 27,000 BTU, which will cool this little guy off, no problem. And you've got a um, heater of 30,000 BTUs. So um, again, my name is Dean. And if you have any questions about this or anything else we have, and there's a description in the link of the video where you can get to our website and see what else we have, but you can get a hold of me at my cell at 720-347-7063 or email me at dean.jones at transwest.com. Thanks for uh, looking at this video with me today, and uh, we'll see you next time.